Hi, I'm going to be giving you an overview of the MPLAB AI Coding Assistant and specifically a new feature called the Agent Mode. Now, what's the difference between an agent and the chat mode which you would have been using before? Well, that is tools. Agents can use tools and do cool things like be able to edit and create new files. This means that if you have a query about which involves changing some code in main or creating a new file, it can do that. If you're nervous about that, you can turn off certain of this functionality, like creating new files, or ask first, um, but we'll just leave it on. Now, note that there are some documentation-related tools, projects, videos, boards, data sheet, and um, okay, so let's find an example context project to try out this functionality. Find example projects for the PIC32 CMMC family of microcontrollers which use the ADC. Now note here that it is using the get example projects tool. So based on our query, it calls the appropriate tools. Quite a few. Narrow down this list to examples which use both the ADC and I2C peripherals. Okay, getting started application. This opens in Discover. What is Discover? Well, we can see that there are code examples, MCU, MPU examples, documentation, app notes, data sheets, designs, online references. So those are a lot of a lot of the documentation tools are really about searching Discover. So in this example, I'm not going to go into it too much in terms of what it does, but I'm just going to save it as. We'll extract it, come into the firmware folder. Here we see that there's a source folder with main.c and that kind of thing. And then we've got the .x folder, which is the MPLabX project. Okay. So we'll open the folder. Yes, we want to import the project. And yes, we want to add an external folder of source. Okay, but what we also want to do is save the workspace because the workspace tends to get indexed by the AI. So we're going to go up to a slightly higher level for the workspace. Save this. What does this project do? give it main.c and give me a short bullet list. Okay, initializes, sets up I2C and ADC, reads temperature, configures I2C with circum2. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, so let's run this project. Note that here we have circum2 with I2C and printf on what circum. So we can go at plib circum. Okay, there we see circum zero is the UART. Obviously we could have come into system initialize, but you know, just showing you how you can navigate around here. Okay, with a circum UART file, what board rate is the UART set to? And we get the answer nine six. Okay, control shift P. MPLAPC make clean build. And we are going to run the project. Run and debug. MPLAB debugger. Curiosity Pro. Okay. Runs the project, stops at the beginning of main. Let's open the MPLAB data visualizer. We needed 9.6. Okay, we can display as text in the terminal and run our project. And that is looking good. So our proximity sensor or light sensor and find the sensor. There we go. The temperature is working as well. I think I really like a graphical view of these results. 
So how would we do that? Well, let's ask. Okay, instead of a printf, rather use the data streamer protocol to send frames to the MPLAB data visualizer. Use hex 03 and hex FC as the start and end bytes respectively. Okay, summary of changes. It looks like it's broken this out as a send data streamer frame and temp light and calling the frame. Okay, implement these changes. Okay, and I'm just going to accept all the changes. And there's our send frame. And send data streamer frame. Okay, so let's just uh, <laughs> test it on hardware. Clean and build. And stop this debug session. And I'm going to run this again. But since we're using DB data visualizer, we want to check the runtime performance. So we want to just program rather than debug. So create a program configuration. So add new. OK, so there's a lot of things here which might be unfamiliar. Attach, launch, program. OK, we want to program. But I'm also at the same time just going to go Control L. OK, what is launch and what are the different options here? Give me a one sentence definition of each. And so here we can see name, debug. OK, no debug if you want to program. Definition of launch. Um, OK, so actually I want to know the difference between launch and attach. So launch starts a new instance. Um, from the IDE and attach connects to the bug of a ready running instance. So if some nasty bugs and you want to attach without resetting, you'll use that. And when we were looking here, we filtered on MPLAB. Okay. So that's program. And pause, and this looks good, 03 FC. Now, can we add this as a variable streamer? New temp and light and temperature was a unit 8. And light was UN16. OK. We set our com as a source and we add this to a plot. And OK. Extremely sensitive. And OK, but it's doing the job. So let's just have a look and see what's happening in the code here. So we, we poll to wait for an ADC conversion to start, well, to be done, and then we get the result. But getting an ADC result just takes um, a microsecond or two. And uh, OK, maybe the I2C is a, a little bit slower, but we're definitely sending too many frames, and we don't need that level of sensitivity. So I'd like to use a Cystic, and that's changing the microcontroller configuration. So I'd like to set that in the Harmony project. So I don't want to change the configuration of those low-level files which are being generated. So let's have a look at how we can do this.